Today, we're gonna to learn about extension methods, but first, I wanna to go to lunch. Do me a favor, initiate a mouse click event over the like button and subscribe. Hey, you wanna to go to lunch? Yeah, I would, but I'm writing this rap music rhyming software and I need to add rhymes with to a string class, and I just don't know how to do it. Well, have you thought about using an extension method? So you might get asked if you know what an extension method is. This is a gotcha question because you might not have created an extension method, but you've probably used one all the time. Extension methods allow you to add extra methods without modifying the original type. Think of it like slapping a post-it note onto a type that gives that type additional capabilities. Now, there are some restrictions. You can't access anything private any more than a post-it note can change the wording of a contract. And you can only have extension methods. You can't have extension properties or extension constructors. And if you're doing this on a third-party class and they introduce a method with a similar signature, you're gonna get some really weird bugs. But you can do some cool stuff. Let's take a look. Okay, so I have this phrase to evaluate. Uh, run your mouth and my Glock will go bam. So I can do all sorts of cool things on a string. I can split the string, which will give me a, an array of strings. I can go too lower. I can see if it contains something, but I can't do rhymes with. So how do I add rhymes with as an extension method? Now, when I'm all done, rhymes with is going to return a list of dope rhymes and it's gonna behave no different than too lower or split. It's just going to be another method on the string. Now, in order to do this, I'm going to create a new static class called Rhyming Extensions. And I'm gonna make sure the namespace is different. The namespace I'm gonna give it is Rhyming. Think of the static class as a useful container of methods that just operate on input parameters. You don't have to set any fields or properties. System.math is probably the most famous static class. And again, you can't instantiate it. So in my static class, Rhyming Extensions, I'm going to create a static method called Rhymes With. This matches the method that I want on this string, rhymes with over here. Now this rhymes with method returns a list of strings. These are gonna be the dope rhymes that we're gonna return. Now I'm passing the incoming string with the this modifier. This is very important. It's not gonna work without this. Now I'm gonna take this match rhyme string and I'm going to pass it into my rhyming engine. Now we're not gonna create the rhyming engine here. Just assume there's a rhyming engine out there, a third party library. We pass it a string and it returns a list of dope rhymes. Okay, now we're all done with our rhyming extension. So if we go back to program, we notice Visual Studio is still yelling at us. Now remember, we had to put the extension in a different namespace. So we need to drop the namespace into here and Visual Studio will stop yelling at us. Now I wanna show you something neat. Any string can now use rhymes with as long as the rhyming namespace is up there. So let's say I create a string called cream. Cream now it has rhymed with as a method. So now let's put a breakpoint on this thing. So we're gonna evaluate the phrase, run your mouth and my Glock will go bam. So let's step into this and we hit that static method. We go to the rhyming engine, we return the rhymes and let's take a look at the rhymes that were returned. Your life ain't nothing but a sham. Your girl earns money on a webcam. I'll put your lights out like a reactor scram. So this works, but you know what else is neat? We can even do it with an integer. Let's say we want to have an integer and a method that will double whatever the integer is. Well, we just create a static int double, and pass it in this double me and return double me times two. Now, if I head back to my program and I add in an integer, I can double that integer just by referencing double. We can even do this with a class. Let's say we had a dictionary of words and some of those words are flagged as explicit we could create an extension method called sensor and then use a link query to filter out all of the dirty words. Hmm, link query. You know, whenever I add a link query, I always have to add the namespace system.link. Seem familiar? If you've used link, you've used extension methods every day. Link can't be instantiated. It's an extension method that adds features like order by or group by to the enumerable assembly. But if you're ever asked about extension methods in an interview, here's what I like to do. I remember extension methods with the mnemonic MITETLET for add method into the existing type. And it's also how link works. Good luck on your next interview. Now let's go to lunch. What the heck is a reactor, Scram? I used to work at a nuclear reactor. I'll tell you during lunch. Run your mouth, then my guac will go blam. I'll put your lights out like a reactor scram. 
checking to get cause I'm productive No unit test cause I'm destructive Complete in Jira, I look the tester Head downstairs, notify the requester Hey Ryan man, you need to get out of here I saw Circle Back Jack with a Jira ticket and had your name on it I'm out, peace!